Okay, well, welcome to the Reed Fletcher Podcast. I'm here with my beautiful, beautiful, wonderful wife. Oh, that was so nice. Madison Belgian Flap Erger the Third. What? Erger. <laughs> you know that's my least favorite thing on the planet. We got stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do. We've got an agenda today. Get on it. What do we start with? Well, we've got we've had a lot happen. Uh, we have made it into the 30s. As far as uh, pregnancy week count goes, mm-hmm. we're rapidly approaching week 32. Show them the belly. Come on. All right. I'm Come on. It's all making me sing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, my word. Holy cow. That's a baby. Mwah. That's a baby. Hello, little man. Let me be a, a dark background so you can better see. Try not to look at me, just focus on the belly. Mm, mm, Show the belly mm, now. Mm, mm. I've been pregnant for way too long. Mm, mm. Um, <laughs> so. We made it into the 30s. Made it into the 30s. It feels a little huge, a little scary. Also great. Um, we had our baby shower. Beautiful and excellent. Just Arizona. to give an overview of what we're going to talk about. And we've started childbirth classes, which has been really good. It's had its uh, pros and cons. Cons being we really don't have time for it, but we're making time for it, so that's good. Cons being our teacher says dilatating <laughs> instead of dilating. Like if you're in the middle of dilatation, and I was like, huh. I didn't realize I'd been saying that wrong my entire life. It's just really confusing because she gave us the first class. She gave us this whole rundown of her credentials and every reason why she is qualified to teach this class. And if she's been teaching that class for, or if she's been in like labor and delivery for 25 years, like she says she's been or over 25 years, I think that's what she said. How has she not learned how to say dilation? I know. In the back of her mind, like, she's probably been correcting all the other nurses. Like, another one said dilate. 25 years I've had to listen to this. Dilatating. Dilatation. Um, uh, just, uh, what I, we're learning isn't bad. Sound it out, man. I don't know. <laughs> what we're learning, I mean, is mostly good. The classes are a little too long, but that's okay. We're learning good stuff. Yeah. Um, the breathing techniques is interesting to me. Um, we got to watch a video. We've been to two classes now. We just got out of our second one. Um, it's a six week thing, two hours every Monday night. The first week, I mean, two hours and 15 minutes and that extra 15 minutes makes a difference. Let me tell you the first week. I'm trying to like, remember what we learned the first week, but I swear it was basically the exact same thing as the second week. We talked a lot about how to time contractions. Which yes. was good. How you time contractions from the start of the first contraction to the start of the second contraction is what they say when they're saying like contractions. Timing a contraction, yeah. And we learned that the five one one rule with contractions. Yeah, I think every hospital kind of says something different, but it's all in the same ballpark, like Contractions every five minutes for at least a minute or around a minute um, uh, every hour. For an hour. So if that happens, yeah. if you have contractions every five minutes that last for one minute for at least an, an hour. hour, you should go to the hospital. That was something I didn't know. So that was good to learn. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to think because it'll probably be better to learn if I say the things that I've learned that were good. I didn't realize, I mean, we learned a lot the first time about how relaxation helps with pain. I think that was the biggest takeaway. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Go ahead. Just let it out. Good job. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Oh, crap. Freak. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. They like. Oh, yeah. They won't let us do a hospital tour because of the coronavirus. Lame whatever um that's like one of the things i signed up for i know (laughs) signed up for this class for but it's fine 
Um, I'm glad they're taking safety precautions for us and other people. However, um, I'm really glad that they talked so much about relaxation. Yeah. Because I am not naturally inclined to relax. First class was better because she talked a lot about that. Like, yeah. Relaxation and how tension creates pain. What was it? The fear tension pain cycle yeah that was really good i like that you're you feel fear so your body has a physical reaction to which it. is tension yeah which causes more pain mm-hmm. which causes more fear so if and you can relax it causes way longer labor yeah yeah and i like that exercise that we did we we were like supposed to flex our arm out and then we had a safety pin oh yeah and we were like squeezing it and it was really tense in our fingers. We had to do it but for if, a full minute, yeah. If we held our hand and like relaxed it on the table and then squeezed it, it was a lot less painful. Yeah, just, that was really helpful. It was kind of cool. I really appreciated that because I am a very tense person. I think my body just has a hard time relaxing. I think it's why I twitch so hard when I fall asleep. And why Same. you twitch yeah. so hard. I wouldn't when I fall be good asleep. in in labor. No. Um, but. but yeah, I like my reflexes don't even go at the doctors because I can't relax. Anyway, that so that whole that was really good for me to start thinking good. about mentally. I didn't realize just how psychological pregnancy was, mm. where they talked a lot about like relax and like calm yourself, get into a like a safe and secure space, yeah. get in the rhythm. I also didn't realize how important a uh, coach was. Mm-hmm. And someone like right there kind of affirming you and complimenting you. Yeah. I mean, I've learned a lot of stuff. It's been really great to go to the classes. It's funny how much I feel like I've grown even just since the last time we had, we like sat down and filmed a video um, talking about like natural versus epidural. Like I feel like my opinion on that has changed so much mm-hmm. since we talked about it for the first time because I've become a little bit more educated. I'm asking questions, mm-hmm. I'm doing research. And I feel like I see so much value in both that I want to incorporate both into yeah. my childbirth experience mm-hmm. and like using the tools that they use for a natural birth mixed with like modern medicine and an intervention if needs be, you know, I, I see value in it all. And I think that childbirth is just an amazing experience. I, I think the best part of tonight's class was watching that video. Yeah. Which freaked me out to be honest, more than anything. I'm glad it made him feel better, but it was a little rough for me actually watching it. I was like, Oh yeah. It was basically Uh a video of a woman's basically the whole the whole pre, uh, birth as well as like as basically as soon as the contractions started yeah like they went into early labor where she was like having contractions at home and they like kind of fought through them and then when they like arrived at the hospital and then she had a whole natural birth like it was nuts but it obviously was a condensed version because yeah i mean it was like 10 minutes long but they showed her i really liked the, how they showed her going around the hospital with him and like leaning on him and then um squatting and yeah i think it is nice for you to have a visual of like what that yeah like kind like of rocking the, back and forth to relax as the birth coach and doing like the breathing rhythms and i really go liked jazz. go jazz i really liked when he um became a table for her remember they're walking around the uh-huh. hospital and he like goes, goes down on all fours and she kind of leans on him and like stretches mm-hmm. out her lower back another thing that we learned tonight actually was some of the positions that you can be in to release tension which was like yeah. the what was it like you go like this mm-hmm. right and then you kind of go side to side yeah and then you stand behind me and then i stand behind you and like Kind of push on. Kind of dig your palms your, into my... Your lower back. My lower back, yeah. <laughs> that was good to know. Bad boys for life. Bad boys for life. <laughs> um, I... The, oh, sorry. The massaging mm-hmm. as well was good with the little tool thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I liked that she talked about kind of like taking... She talked about like finding a focal point for when you're in the contraction 
like the active labor stage is kind of just, I think it's just a whole lot of pain. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, like you, you have the contraction, but then like you're not exactly comfortable when the contraction's gone, you know? So mm-hmm. like when the, when you're in that resting period, waiting for the next contraction, instead of like having a focal point, you know, trying to like draw uh, your energy elsewhere, like, mm-hmm. um, like having you massage like the the upper parts of my back and my hands and my feet and stuff. I don't know. It's just interesting. I if anything, it's nice to sit and just feel close to you. Yeah. It's cheesy, but I'm confident in our ability to handle it. Not that I think I don't know. Not that I think I'm ready or anything or that I I don't think I'm underestimating how hard it's going to be at all, but I'm confident that you're going to be exactly what I need and yeah. It'll just be fine. Two classes in. I personally recommend it. I mean, I feel like there's some lot there's a little bit of unnecessary and our teachers a little <laughs> <laughs> dilatating um, <laughs> but she just has a very ineffective teaching style we probably yeah. could have learned all of that in like a 30 minute video but yeah you know it's okay but it's nice to sit there together and it's good to be there with all those other couples uh-huh. that are also going through it and yep. they don't know what they're doing just like we don't know what we're doing um yeah so far it, it has been good yeah i liked it i think it's i think it's good there's been a really nice feeling of peace that has come with the third trimester I think I mean I've felt really calm this whole pregnancy I've talked about that before like I'm not becoming a mom I'm just like giving birth to my little friend you know like I mm-hmm. felt that way the entire time but I just feel like you and I are very calm about the whole thing right now and we still have several weeks to go and some of our longest weeks to go from what everyone tells me um so maybe that will change. But right now it's really nice to just feel really calm. Even though our life is going to flip on its head in every possible way. Living circumstances. Like bringing a child or becoming parents. You have to keep a human alive. You need to look for a car, a house. <laughs> you know, all of that. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's talk baby shower baby shower it was so nice first of all to go to arizona and be in the sunshine it's starting to warm up here not fast enough for my liking it's fine so it was really good to be there with my mom especially and just prepare all the little treats and baby bite size salads and i'll make sure in this part to put in pictures like please do add pictures of the the spread oh yeah the, the spread. spread was beautiful the charcuterie board we have oh. um little baby wedge salads we had little tiny uh the jello pretzel strawberry goodness things. little <laughs> yeah little raspberry pretzel trifles little rice puddings it's all baby rice pudding baby rice pudding baby raspberry trifle uh baby uh, oreo mousse just looked like this things. cascading waterfall of like little baby treats. meats and like <laughs> prosciutto <laughs> and uh different vegetables and things you could dip and it's like this big beautiful and chocolate covered strawberries thing. the punch was good the punch was good the signs were beautiful, and she made all the signs. They were all really pretty. Thank you. Um, at Maddie Made Design. At Maddie Made Design, LLC.com <laughs> slash forward backslash Maddie Made Design dot com. <laughs> and, um, backslash creep thoughts. And a lot of the, uh, I thought that the, like, the decorations were beautiful. I really did. Thanks. And it was really fun. I think one of the funnest parts about it, so we did it with Haley. Chase and Haley, my cousin and his cute wife. That's also my cousin. Adorable. They're having a little girl. Yes. Okay. That sounded like I just said they marry each other and they're cousins. <laughs> so maybe blurt that part out. <laughs> yes, I will. Um, 
Haley and Chase. They're having a little my girl. My cute cousins. Which is really cute. He is her cousin. She is married to him. Thank you for clarifying. And which makes it kind of fun because he is the boy cousin. He's having a little girl. You're the girl cousin. You're having a little boy. And so one of the funnest things for me personally was we, you know, had the two had the two pregnant ladies go sit by themselves um, on these chairs, and then we lined up this uh, massive avalanche of presents, then then divided them right down the middle, and a bunch of them were blue, and a bunch of them were pink, and it was super cute that everything was like boy and girl, and then the husband sat on the edges, and we just like. Basically, we're just showered by oohs and ahs and <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, the it was really fun to do it with Chase and Haley. I think that it was way better than it would have been. Not that it that makes it sound like it would have been terrible if it was just me. It would not oh, have it was been. Fun, but though. it was really it was extra fun, was extra precious. Uh, my mom said kept kept saying the whole week that our theme was cream with little touches of cloud and blush. You know, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. blue and pink, oh. it was cloud and blush. And the cake, uh-huh. the blue cake in the morning cuz there were these cute like these, oh my goodness. My mom the hired cutest cakes. A cake lady to make the cutest little they were cloud cute blue cake so smooth looking pastel blue and then the cutest little pastel pink blush cake and it was but adorable. <laughs> the morning of they Ooh. showed up and they're like hey we got your cake <laughs> open it up both are blue two blue cakes mm. and like surprise Haley. Mm. looks like uh you're having a boy sucks sorry you had to find out this way <laughs> um but then they ended up like running back and getting the other one but and my mom printed out the little ultrasound pictures of little baby Jay and little baby Hawkins. I think they're gonna name her Holland, but they don't want to commit. They we don't want to commit yet. Um, it was just really cute to see them framed, and we're gonna have these in his little nursery at some point when we have a nursery for him. Speaking of, we came home. We brought all the stuff that we got from Arizona home and we were just buried in baby stuff. <laughs> yeah. It was everywhere. And it was really I think that's when things kinda hit me that like this is real. Yeah. <laughs> was seeing it all oh guys, best part of the baby shower day. Sorry, my brain is bouncing everywhere. My parents gave us our travel system stroller. Oh with where the is it? infant car <laughs> seat. <laughs> and of course we unboxed it right then because we're just so excited and right, the can I, best can i do it behind you you think no move my chair i'll try it right here dude something's <laughs> gonna break <laughs> okay something's gonna break seriously this is ill-advised do not try so home. what they said was i'm nervous let me first say this. <laughs> um, it, we, we put it together. It wasn't super hard to put together. And we're all excited because Maddie figured out that you can just like grab right here and pull it. And it collapses. It collapses. Folds down. But the problem was we couldn't figure out how to get it up and have it stay up. Uh-huh. And everyone was trying it and no one could get it. And then I realized just like that, you know, innate dad instinct, dad instinct had to kick in. And uh, let me give you a quick tutorial. Oh, this is bad. This so is here really bad. is the stroller. Why don't, we, why don't we film a separate video just for this? Just okay. for your dad. Here friends. we go. Here we go. Okay. The okay. trick is all in the wrists. You're going to want to have them turn this way. Oh, my gosh. Grab onto what I like to call the parent collar. I don't remember what the oh, actual no. name is. This is not <laughs> Do we have enough room? No. We and don't. then you I'm thrust. You, this is ill advised. You thrust up and out. Remember, thrust up and out. Thrust. Dude, this is not going to go well. Ah! <laughs> well, it doesn't always... You have to do the little lever first. Oh, yeah. That's what I forgot. Okay, the instincts usually don't cover the lever part, so you actually have to learn that part. There's a tiny lever on the side, as you can see here. Okay? You're going to want to push that lever down. Now that the lever's pushed down... I'm scared! Remember, thrust, thrust. Thrust, grab, and thrust. Okay. So, apparently you're supposed to do the lever on both sides. No, it's just this. Did I not? You have to pull it. Oh, 
Okay, yes, you have to pull the lever. Oh, I was pushing the wrong lever. I was looking at the lever down there. I was looking at the lock. Dude, okay. I've been practicing this all week. You should we have can been practicing edit this. this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're okay. not going to. It's actually this lever. Oh, this lever on the side. You just snapped it back in, so make sure, <laughs> make sure you pull it again. Okay, undo the <laughs> lever. Now ready. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Oh, yeah. Almost. Mm, nope. Ah, oh, freak. <laughs> I didn't thrust her. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Ever? You don't have space. There you don't go. Don't have space. You nailed it. Oh, and this is the stroller. It's got a. Well, I locked in the. You push up, please. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, children. My child is more important. Um. <laughs> Let's see. And then, oh yes, you can get winded doing this. <laughs> make sure to stay hydrated. I always do a couple of thrusts beforehand just to make sure that you're not overexerting your thrusters. This is great. It can go at Maddie height or at Reed height. And it's nice. What was the song? Remember when I got it on my first try? What a feeling. Yep, that's the one. Deep inside. And then, okay, so Reed, Let me grab the baby thing. Reed figured this out literally i think the first time he tried it which is a huge dad flex i mean it really dad is flex. like not okay you got to take it off the base babe what a feeling babe, are you listening to me mm, yeah <laughs> you gotta take okay. the car seat out of the base <laughs> okay so this is the part that I you're kind of not being super clutch right now babe uh, how do you get it out of the base <laughs> Okay, just the same way you pull it out of the car or out of the stroller, you have to grab it from either side. Okay. Like the front and the back, and there's a little latch like at this? the back that you can click up. Okay. There you go. Okay, so he. Gonna need a lot of editing for this one. <laughs> okay, now. Rear facing. As you can see, this is a rear-facing, micro-encapsulated, fully engaged, hydro-processing uh, baby carriage. Um, it's nice because babies actually have a 100% retention rate. So, say you're going down a hill, 25 miles an hour, and whoop, baby stays in every time. Okay. <laughs> so mad at you. Now, whew, out of breath. He's talking out of his breath. <laughs> baby's going to be facing this way. So... Basically, what we're going to want to do is there is a snapping mechanism located on the side here. And there is a connecting mechanism inside of here. So it's as simple as A, B, C, one, two, three. A, B, C. And then, so basically, see, so I'm forgetting the one, two, three part. So it's A, B, C. One, two, three. Now you can see baby can take all sorts of terrain, um, whether it's you know speed bumps or just soccer ball. Baby's always protected. Now, let me take your attention to one of my favorite parts, the back area. So we have a heat wave coming in, also coronavirus. So to protect from that, you're gonna wanna pull this guy over that keeps the virus from entering, entering from the cerebral lobe. But on the front side, we actually can cover the baby from both sides. Um, excuse me? <laughs> okay, you. well, you can do that if you'd like. That's not necessary. Uh, and then we kind of protect it here. Now this is kind of fun. I don't know if you can see from there, but it's actually a little tiny. Okay, go. Okay. Opening. In here, probably can't see it. <laughs> when uh, when we tried this out at the house, I got my phone and I put a picture of a baby and then I set it in there so that you could see it through the thing, so that I could practice. You know, like, Ooh, is the baby okay? Is the baby okay? <laughs> baby's fine. If the baby's getting a little annoying. Close it right up. It's soundproof. Um, and then I went on a walk around the neighborhood with my pretend baby. Yeah, so... It was super fun. <laughs> I 
Anything Back you to wanna... my... <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> Anything you want to add to my stroller uh, extravaganza? Yes, back to my story. Yes. That I was telling. Okay, so back to my story that I was telling. Okay. Um, Where did my seat go? Oh, okay. just leave it there. I'll grab a different one. Okay. Um, I don't think we should keep the stroller right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Demonstration. Stroller demonstration. Thank you, stroller, for doing your job. Over. Are you going to demonstrate how easy it is to... Uh, to take down. Uh-huh. Okay, good point. So, what you're going to want to do... Remember that uh, handy snapping mechanism we found earlier? Basically, you just... Okay, that is the wrong okay. snapping mechanism. That's the, that's the snapping mechanism you want, though. you got to pull it up so you can pull baby out. Oh, yeah. Baby, set on okay. a nearby table, flat surface. No. <laughs> Wrong. I actually don't remember how to yeah. take it out. Okay, remember how you took it out of the base? Oh, yes, 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 yes. There's a lever on the back side. Okay, there baby, don't no. tip the baby. That is one of the first things they teach you in birthing class. Babies actually do not prefer to be tipped. They have the same center of gravity as everything else on Earth. Okay, and I'm back. All right. And then now, there's a little lever here. I just pull it. Is yep, that it? Yep. I just pull it. Yep. You literally just pull it. I'm better at picking it up. She's better at setting it back down. Easiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> he really did make that look way harder than it needed to. It's kind of the easiest stroller on the planet. No, it's nice. We really like it. We're pretty dang excited about it. Like, I fell in love immediately. Um, and it was really cute because my dad picked it out because the tires were perfect. The tires are actual like tires, not just plastic wheels. So right. bad boys for life. Anyway, I'm going to finish my story finally. So he nails the stroller like, and I was giving him crap. Like that is not how they would have you like open the stroller. You're no, that's dumb. And then sure enough, he just like does it the first time. And it's perfect. And I was just like, okay, that's the father of my child. We can do this. And then he went for a victory lap, singing and dancing and pushing his baby, his imaginary baby. What a feeling. Around the kitchen, then went outside. Deep inside. For a walk around the neighborhood by himself with the stroller. He's feeling myself. Proud of you. I did honestly get it on my first try. Yeah. Despite what my training. Despite what that looked like. <laughs> um. Well, I could. That's because I. Uh, the one thing I forgot was which thing you were supposed to which unclip. Lever? As soon as I unclipped it, it was the easiest thing in the world. But don't forget to. Also, space it. was limiting here. Yeah. You're very right. We'll have a lot we'll more give, space we'll when give baby you that. comes. <laughs> no. Um. But yeah. It's it's been super fun. He did pull up a picture of a baby, and put it inside the car seat and just like check on it every once in a while. It was hilarious. You were making everybody laugh. But let's go into some of this stuff. It was a good day. Um, what do you got there? Did you already talk about that? Oh, we got lots of baby soaps and lotions and very cute. All lotions. my favorite smell good stuff. Hooded towels. All the fave things. Can't wait to see baby in a hooded towel. Um, this is a snot sucker. Snot sucker? Still have not really ventured into the world of what that means. But we're going to figure it out, I guess. It's a nasal aspirator that was given to us. Also a little pregame. <laughs> we got this guy. I just saw his butt crack. <laughs> We got this guy, um, which actually came before the baby shower. True. Which is really exciting. Um, this is from great grandma Belknap. And it, we and want to great, give it a little push so great we grandma can see. And great grandpa Belknap. Yeah, it's very cute. Kind of pushes back and forth as a little bit. Again, you're not supposed to do the tip. Um, you can, but that's mostly just for so you can see inside. I'm just gonna go. I have a feeling that that's going to be a lifesaver for me when I'm 
trying to get some work done. So that was very nice of Grandma and Grandpa. Um, Cannot forget little tiny <laughs> dragon guy. We got a little tiny dragon guy to go with a little tiny dragon guy book. Oh, where's the dragon Which is adorable. We gotta talk about um, oh, the courageous dragon. The courageous dragon. Mm. We got the courageous dragon and the matching courageous stuffed animal. So cute, dragon. and the book from Emily that makes me cry. It's called "You Belong Here." It honestly is a very touching. It's book. very you read tender. It. Do it. Just read it. Want me to read it? I just like w one page. I don't know, like, and you belong right here when you're home and where I hold you close. Of all the wonders I've ever known, you're the one I love the most. That's like one page of it, and it's all, like, every page just makes me cry. It's a very cute book. And I... Why would she give that to us? <laughs> you know? Jerk. No. <laughs> I, I'm never going to be able to read it to him, even when he's, like, 37. I will not be able to read it to him, and not cry i know it honestly is a very cute book and i tried to read it um, even the note that they wrote in the book is so precious dear baby boy we love you already more than you know i hope you will always know how much you are loved and wanted i hope you always will know that you belong in this family and that you are a blessing love always aunt emily and uncle chris it's very very cute it kills me you are a dream that the world once dreamt and now you're part of its song that's why you're here in the place you are meant for this is right where you belong I seriously can't. <laughs> I can't. Come here. Oh. But yeah. And she didn't know that I've had, like, that's my overall desire for this baby to know is that he belongs with Reed and I. And mm -hmm. I don't know why, but like those words have rang through my mind this entire pregnancy. Like, you belong here. I want him to know. I feel like I'm like saying that to him. <laughs> Like, as if it's some kind of affirmation or something. But, like, you belong here. And that's why I've got this temporary sign up here because I want to design him something to go above his crib that says you belong here. Um, this is just a holding spot. But, yeah. This is his changing table. And we're going to get his crib. It's going to be a matching black iron crib that I'm very excited about. Um, got it on Facebook Marketplace for pretty cheap when I picked it up, true. which is nice. That was nice. It it's was a good. nice deal. Um, and then we're going to use got this cute uh, Grammy, Tammy, and crappy JJ. <laughs> Bob and Cha-Cha. Bob and Cha-Cha. <laughs> My parents got um, gave us little tiny baby bottles full of $100 bills for Christmas. And so we're gonna. that was our crib money. So we're going to use that for his little crib once we have space for it which is not now not now not now um oh yeah this was a great great prize from aunt sarah shout out to you aunt sarah his first little pair of nikes oh kills me straight up kills me so it's so light and tiny oh man we got little binkers and little pacifier clips so that we don't lose his binkers. Uh, these are from Uncle Jake, my brother. Oh, little yeah. mustache binkers. Mustache. A lot of really cute outfits. Mmm, the overalls. Okay, but the overalls. What? what? Little tiny booty. Um, these are super cute and comfy. All the swaddles, all the blankies. A lot of cute swaddles. All the little Oh, lovies. I love that one. That one's so soft. This is from Aunt Allie, who's going to be Baby Hawkins' grandma. So cute. Got a whale blanket from, from Emily, who also gave us that beautiful book. Um, this was purchased by Great Grandma Nanny. Great Nanny. Little hippo with a blankie. Oh, it, it just all kills me. She made this blanket that's under here. We just got all the good so, stuff. Oh, in this backpack. You can't forget. Oh, yeah, this is my diaper this bag. Diaper bag, which Everyone is seriously awesome. We love this guy. You can do like a handle as well as a backpack, which is kind of cool, kind of fun. We had people give us all the nipple cream, which is so <laughs> great. <laughs> all True. the diapers. This all the is our little diaper caddy. Nipple creams. 
Uh, Aunt Shelly gave us these beautiful burp cloths that I love, that they're the perfect uh, color of cloud. True. Pastel blue. True. So yeah, we got lots of good stuff. Most of which being this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But. Oh, and the thing yes. from Rachel, which was really nice. Rachel friggin' Buck gave me the cutest little... I, I registered for one of these, and I like this way better. I wish that I would have... Well, I don't wish anything because I have it, and she's an amazing friend for buying it for me. But this cutie little wooden play yard thing is so cute, and I love her for it. She's a great friend. Thank you. And there's a lot Rachel. of cute stuff that we haven't even mentioned. I know. Just because there's we have it like stowed away we're in so many places. Yeah, we were buried in it, so I just kind of had to get it all yeah. into a corner. Like there's entire like boxes full of like cute baskets um, full of clothes and outfits. And clothes and little tiny blankets. Yes. And fun stuff like that. Yes, but to top it all. I asked my uh my nanny, my my mom's mom is one of the most talented crochet ladies I've ever come across in my entire life. I don't know anybody that's better than her or can do more than she can. And she can just like come up with the idea in her brain and make it happen. And I asked her for a little Moses basket. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me what would be helpful and what I wanted her to make for our baby. And I asked her if she could do a little Moses basket for, our, for us to have in our room because we don't have room for a crib until we get out of here. So, yeah. Um, and she shows up at the baby shower with this baby boat. Seriously. <laughs> and it's it is the huge. most beautiful thing. And it's hand crocheted I've the ever entire, seen her entire thing. Life. It's massive. It's super soft. There's actually a cushion on the inside of it. It's got a mattress. It's got a little bumper. We've got his little hippo play mat in there right now. But his play mat and his little lovey. Like, look at the, you can see the inside. There's like the, there's a mattress in there. And it's deep. Like, it's look deep. how tall it is. It is deep. Seriously, we could snuggle up in there. We could. He, he'll be able to sleep in this till he's like two. Yeah, nine <laughs> but... or ten. <laughs> Nine Easy. or ten. I'll probably wet the bed in it. It's great. It's so um, cute. Seriously, we love this thing. But yeah, she made one for us and for Chase and Haley, and it was just quite the spectacle opening those two. Give me yeah. this. <laughs> so yeah, that made me cry. Um, because she worked so hard on that. And it's just like such a precious, I don't know, a precious piece of Nanny's heart, you and, know? It feels and Papa good. was so involved in it. Papa picked out the little bumpers, and I don't know. It feels good just... to be like you. Just seemed so loved when we were there. Um, being at, I've never been to a baby shower before. It was my first one, um, for my own baby, and it seriously is a really good energy. It just feels nice. Like there's all of these. Women who are all excited for you, who a lot of them have been through it, and so they can really empathize. They're like kind of vicariously living through it. And also they're just like all this fun, excited, tender, cute energy. And not like not to mention it's all kind of funneled into like these very playful, cute things. Mm -hmm. They're like, we're excited for you and this big life-changing thing. And then I get to pull up like a little tiny outfit and then everyone is Oh, man. and I've never been around that with that you know it was it was pretty it smelled good there was just estrogen everywhere it was beautiful it was honestly a great time and the food it was a good was time amazing. and I can't really talk about like everything my mom did without tearing up because it just it was a beautiful beautiful day yeah and she I mean she did a lot but it she didn't talk about it like it was work or anything it was yeah. all like bringing her joy bringing me joy it just was good yeah really good and we're lucky enough actually um that maddie's friends want to throw her a utah uh baby shower too which is going to be super fun just to be able to see all your utah people and kind of share in this fun time yeah 
That is going to be fun. Very exciting. It'll feel a little over the top just because we were showered in so much love yeah. already. <laughs> I know. I was thinking that too. I'm like, we don't need anything know. anymore, you know? People I mean, have been so generous. Yeah. Like, the only thing you really need to bring baby home is the car seat. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we'll need diapers. We need, you know, we have like one pack of diapers, so. Don't we have like little presents too that like, didn't Papa bought you the little swim trunks mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, Nanny and Papa and my mom have all, like, bought little things throughout my entire pregnancy that are so sweet. And we're at, um, we have baby appointments every other week now. Mm-hmm. We're go time. Getting there. And he's, like, he's, when he moves, it's, like, a big deal and it's tight. You know, and big, you can feel him moving at night, and your entire limbs. belly is like, droom, droom, droom. <laughs> yeah, he just did it right then. Well, uh, it's been good, it's been and really we good. feel really calm. I'm hoping that stays because we have a lot to do in a short period of time. It's gonna be fun. I love you. I love you too. Remember. Mandy made design LLC.com backslash Mandy made design LLC.com. Check it out. Mike, super short show. Baby, baby, baby. I love you. Congrats on your beautiful baby boy. Congrats on your beautiful baby boy. He's going to be cute. He's going to be so cute. <gasps> There's a spider. Come get it. It's going to oh, get missed. Oh, we gotten that on film. It's going to get missed stuff. You need, you need, don't get it in his stuff. Ah. Okay. He gone. D- You're not going to like throw it away or flush it down the toilet? No, he fell onto the ground. Into his stuff? No, on the ground. There's no stuff down there. I don't want a dead spider just over there. It's on the ground. I don't want it on the ground. It's in his corner. It's not in there. Really. Okay, I'll get some toilet paper and I'll do it. No, I got it. I got it. Ah. Dead things around this bed. I'll do it.